Hey, Professor Vern, I finally got the hang of doing these virtual meetings. Good morning, Administrator. That's great. Hey, robot. It only took him nine months. Uh, I didn't hear that. The professor was saying... Quiet, robot. You transistorized tattletale. Ah, Administrator, what topic would you like to discuss today? Professor Vern, I want to learn more about light rail catenary. Not many people understand just how important it is to our light rail system. Awesome subject. And I just happen to have a catenary mock-up. As you can see, our scale model includes a section of track along with an overhead catenary system. The job of the catenary is to supply electric current to the light rail trains, or LRVs. Let's start with the catenary poles that get placed about every 200 feet along the tracks. Now each catenary pole has a concrete foundation that goes up to 19 feet into the ground. Next, we see that the catenary consists of two wires. The top wire is called the messenger and the bottom wire is called the contact wire because it makes physical contact with the light rail vehicle. We need two wires because the amount of power required to energize the LRV is so high. Next we see that the light rail vehicle has what's called a panograph that slides along the contact wire to pick up current to power the LRV. Why isn't the catenary wire running straight along the track? Great question. We need to stagger the orientation of the contact wire so that it sweeps across the panograph as the LRV travels. If the catenary wire were straight, it would cut through that one spot that it rides across the panograph. The term catenary refers to the shape a wire makes when supported only at its ends. Now, let's see how the catenary wires are attached to the catenary poles. At the top of the catenary pole, we have a top pipe that connects to the messenger wire through an insulator, and supporting the top pipe at an angle is a strut pipe. There is a registration arm that connects to the contact wire through an insulator. So what keeps the wire so straight? Great question. See here at the end, we have a catenary pole with a balance weight assembly. This is where a stack of weights applies extreme tension to the wire, and it also compensates for the expansion and contraction of the wire due to temperature. We use what's called a down guy to anchor the catenary wire into a concrete foundation. Wow, that's a lot of tension. The catenary wire needs about 6,000 pounds of tension to remain straight. So how do we connect the electricity to the catenary? See here, we have what's called a feeder pole, where huge cables coming from a traction power substation run up the pole and exit through a spout and get bolted onto the catenary wires. And I need to also mention that due to the high voltage involved, the catenary parts are very dangerous. And if anyone sees something broken with the catenary, they should stay clear and call 911. Very good safety point, Professor Byrne. So what kind of safety problems can we have with the catenary? Well, one problem is that ice can build up on the contact wire and prevent electricity from getting to the LRV. This causes the train to stop. I suppose that roaming dragon can also be a problem. That what? Robot, quickly, stun that creature. Well, Administrator, I think it's time I go to the field and show you the real catenary up close. Excellent suggestion. Administrator, I'm standing near a portion of the light rail tracks with overhead catenary to power the trains. Wow, I wish I could get some close-up views of this. You got it, Administrator. Robot, perform aerial reconnaissance. And the way. Uh, where is he going, Professor Byrne? Oh, Robot is very resourceful. Here we have a catenary pole with the top pipe connected to the messenger wire. 
and the strut pipe and registration arm connected to the contact wire. Now we see how the pantograph of the light rail vehicle slides across the contact wire to pick up current to power the vehicle. What you see here is the balance weight assembly. Now the weights slide up and down as the catenary wires expand or contract due to temperature in order to maintain up to 6,000 pounds of tension on the catenary wires. Wow, that's cool. Hey, it looks like Robot is running out of jet fuel. Uh -oh. He's gonna crash. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Ow. Even if he crashed, I bought the extended warranty on him, so it's covered. Okay, well, I really appreciate this overview of light rail catenary. Professor, were you concerned about me? Oh, absolutely, my mechanical marvel. Oh, brother.